keep backing up. That's exactly what she's asking not to do. Today we're at Fox Village. Go oh, Whoa! Like gorilla. It's like Gorilla yeah. Village. It's a village slash zoo for foxes that you can go inside and play with more than 200 foxes for only 1,000 yen. I can't even believe a place like this really exists. It was even better than I thought it was going to be. Oh, I'm sorry, you're you on a scale of 1 to 10. 36. <laughs> what about you? 5,000. Oh my god. <laughs> 10 out of 10. When you first enter, you'll be in an area with cages where there are newly born baby foxes who are being taken care of by their mamas. There's a fox hospital in this area, and if you want to, you can hold a fox here. Once the babies separate from their mom, they join in one of these big adolescent pens where you can watch them running back and forth and playing with each other, or sleeping in the most adorable giant fox ball ever. That is literally a pile of foxes. I can't even count how many there are there. <laughs> and then finally, they've graduated to the main fox village, which is an open area of more than 18,000 square feet filled with fox houses, a fox hotel street, It's like cat tower, a fox tower. A fox shrine. A fox feeding platform. How did that one get in? <laughs> it got in when I was getting out. Oh. <laughs> now it doesn't come out. <laughs> He's just excited to be in there because they're not normally allowed in there, I guess. Hey. Yeah. Hey, Yay! I saved the day! <laughs> and plenty of nooks and crannies for the foxes to enjoy playing around in, exploring, and digging foxholes. The foxes were all really well behaved. They seemed almost like they were half cat, half dog. They were all born and raised here, so that might explain some of it, but they were even more domesticated than I would have expected. You can buy treats for them, which come in plastic bags, and as soon as they realize you have treats, they will follow you everywhere. Oh, I just made a noise with the food, you notice? Hi, sorry for tricking you. I'm not allowed to feed you here. I'm sorry. And if you don't go feed them quickly enough, some of them get kind of grabby. <laughs> it's vicious. Come on, no, no. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna, like, oh, I'm gonna, oh. Come on, oh, ow, ow, it's gonna kill me. It's like strangling me. <laughs> they did this thing a lot where they open their mouths and squeal at each other, which we assumed was a show of dominance. But I'm not a fox scholar, so I can't say for sure. <laughs> Which one won? <laughs> you? Apparently, if you don't lock down your belongings carefully enough, they'll run off with your stuff and try to bury it. He's trying to steal it and <laughs> run off with it. You're Stop so it. chubby. <laughs> Cute. Oh, the lens gap. Ah. <laughs> So be careful and make sure they don't get a hold of anything they can choke on. And can we talk about the noises they make because it's so adorable it's killing me. What does the fox say? They're very quiet. <laughs> Never mind. They're not. Not at all. They mostly seem chubby and happy, so it was a really fun place to visit. All in all, I highly recommend this place. Thank you for watching, and I hope you guys can all visit Fox Village one day too. Up until now, I was like, I don't really care about foxes, but now I'm gonna walk out here and change my